Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Erica Sargent. Right now, the search for a gunman who shot and killed a tow truck driver while he was working. It appears he was attacked after he repossessed an SUV in East Garfield Park overnight. CBS 2's Lauren Victory learns more about the victim who was about to become a first-time dad. The victim worked as a tow truck driver for almost six years. I'm told he and his co-workers ran into uncomfortable, scary situations before, but nothing like this. This East Garfield Park intersection looks peaceful with its yellow and purple flowers. But similarly colored police tape and medical gloves here are signs of a tragedy. He was set to have his baby shower for his daughter uh, tomorrow. Attorney Tom Glasgow is talking about soon-to-be father Jack Jacobson. The 28-year-old was behind the wheel of this now bullet-ridden tow truck. A group of gunmen surrounded him and started firing around 1.30 this morning. Jacobson, a military veteran, died. Now this child's going to grow up without a father. And I think it's important for your viewers to know that this is not just another statistic. You know, the victims in these matters have faces and they have stories and the actions of these individuals have lifelong generational effects. What exactly happened is unclear, but Glasgow says Jacobson was on the clock for the company Northwest Repossession when his license plate reader alerted him to this Range Rover that was apparently in need of repossessing. He ended up having an interaction with the individual who owned the, the vehicle. There was a peaceful exchange. Uh, the owner ended up giving him the keys. Jacobson hooked up the Range Rover and drove away, all very routine, until it wasn't. Hours have passed and police haven't released a motive for the shooting. A confusing and devastating time, especially for Jacobson's pregnant fiance, who is preparing for that baby shower. It is something that she now has to look at this day instead of with joy, she has to look at it with an unimaginable emptiness. The family is now collecting money through an online fundraiser. What they get will go to Jacobson's fiance and his little girl. I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Police don't have anyone in custody. They couldn't tell us at this point if the driver's murder was definitely related to the towed vehicle or if this was a random shooting.